Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Popcorn Reviews. I'm Farhad. If you're new to this channel, then please smash that subscribe button now. And I think you guys are also fans like Malayalam films. You do like your share of Malayalam films just like me. So here is another review of another Malayalam film, uh, which is titled Vashi, starring Tovino Thomas and Kirti Suresh, which is streaming on Netflix. And uh, I knew very little about the film again, as is the case with most films here. I do not really watch the trailers and I knew very little about the film except the fact that it is a courtroom drama and that is all I knew. And uh, you know, so uh, when I entered the movie, you know, I'm a big fan of Tovino Thomas. And when I entered the movie, I got to know that uh, this story is basically uh, a story about two lawyers who are lovers and later turn husband and wife. But there is a case that comes along that way where it finds both of them on opposite sides of the case, you know, and they both are fighting for two different parties of the same case. So it makes for an interesting viewing. The story is definitely uh, compelling. It is a compelling drama and uh, it uh, had a very interesting premise. When it started, the screenplay, I think it's just, just over two hours. So when it started, uh, it had that uh, a tonal vibe of a probably a comedy, you know, it started off like a typical rom-com, you know, in which the protagonists are introduced uh, and, uh, you know, they are fighting for, a, for an office. Uh, they still are discovering uh, their love for each other. They are not a couple when the movie starts. So I felt uh, it gave me the typical uh, Bollywood uh, film vibes, you know, probably if I could uh, pick a film in a very rough, uh, vague, uh, so to say, a comparison, it would be like Band Baja Bharat in which the two protagonists just, you know, they knew each other, but they, you know, got along in, uh, you know, especially while finding the office, the courtroom office, that their own office that was there, that I felt was uh, something slight it gave me a little vibe about uh, band baja bharat and then slowly you know uh, as their relationship progresses you uh, get to know that they are from different um, religions so the cultural references here also are uh, quite interestingly shown along the way there comes a conflict in which uh, the public prosecutor uh, is uh, the tomino thomas and the one who's you know, defending the accused is uh, Kirti Suresh. So that, again, that comparison happens. Uh, as the film progresses slowly, you get to know that there's a slight tonal shift that is happening after, uh, you know, every, say, 20 minutes into the film. Uh, there's a slight tonal shift that is happening and that is consistent throughout the first half. But in the second half, the, the tonal the shift that is there, it gets slightly melodramatic as well. I felt uh, maybe they could have, you know, ten, uh, kept the melodrama in check. I felt uh, it was a tad too melodramatic, although the uh, film was consistently watchable. I felt the second half was a little weak, uh, but uh, the film, the drama was still compelling. It was still holding your attention despite it being a little, little uh, melodramatic, I feel. Uh, also, one of the things was that because the premise was so interesting and the topic that they were touching upon, Section 375, that was something really relevant. I felt I wanted to know how deep they would go into that. But uh, I don't think they went very deep into that. They were, they didn't, it wasn't exactly on the surface as well, but it wasn't very deep as well. It was somewhere in between, which is what. Uh, I had a slight issue with in the second half. I think the second half, uh, they could have, you know, explored it a little more. They could have cut the melodrama and probably explored the topic slightly more, I felt, uh, which was somewhere in between. It was not really on the surface, but not, you know, too deep as well. Uh, so second half, I did have a little issue. I was a little on the fence with the verdict as well, although there is a slight justification that is given right at the end and uh, that was I think satisfactory because in, it was just a glimpse. It, I wouldn't spoil it for the viewers who haven't watched the film but it was just a glimpse that was shown you know right at the end uh, why that verdict was given the way it was. It is about perception again um, and uh, it can be right or wrong it's okay but uh, so uh, overall if I have to look at it in totality uh, screenplay I felt it was quite uh, quite well written but it could have been a little better as well given the subject 
Now coming to the technical aspects, I think the dialogues I think were pretty well written. I think uh, they did leave an impact. It was conversational. Uh, another uh, thing that uh, I missed out in the screenplay was that the parallel tracks on how uh, the courtroom drama was impacting the relationship was really interesting to see. You know, I think that was something that was uh, unique to the storyline, and uh, it, that uh, portion was also well handled. Coming to the music, I think the music was pretty good as well. It did not stall the flow of the drama anywhere. I think the music uh, carried on with the drama uh, and it took the drama forward. The BGM was again in some scenes unique sounding as well. Pretty good job there. Director uh, Vishnu Raghav, I think he did a good job. He did a really good job, I feel. Uh, but I think they just played a little safe. He just played a little safe, especially in the second hour. Uh, he didn't go all out or uh, he didn't risk uh, shock value of an ending, so to say, you know, uh, which I'm very used to now in Malayalam films. But uh, whatever was shown, I think he did a good job. I mean, it was not a bad job. It was a good job. Uh, maybe he could have taken a little more risk with the screenplay, with the way he uh, took that end. I think the end was still slightly a tad underwhelming but still okay uh, not consistently watchable definitely i mean to the performances i think this is probably the first time that i have watched uh, tovino and uh, tovino thomas and kirti suresh together and they are you know powerhouse of of performers you know both of them i think did a stupendous job i think kirti suresh has such a disarming smile which is intact here and she uh, she did a very good job, you know, in which she even had to internalize her problems. I think she did a pretty good job. Tovino Thomas has a charming presence on screen. And uh, he really, you know, I'm a huge fan of Tovino Thomas. And I think he did a brilliant job here. I mean, he, he has this easy, uh, easy going calmness on screen, I think, which, you know, just manages to hold your attention, makes his character affable as well. Some of the other characters like Anu Mohan and Anagha, uh, Ronnie, David, I think they all did a brilliant job here. Uh, and um, so do I recommend it? Yeah, it is a good watch. I think it is a compelling drama with solid performances and it it can be watched definitely once. Uh, although a little more risk could not have hurt, I think, and especially the melodrama was a tad too much, I think, in the second hour. But overall, I think it was still a good watch. I think Malayalam films never disappoint. And if you'd like to read my full review, then uh, please visit my site Popcorn Reviews with a double S, the link of which is in the description box below. If you're liking this video, please smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts on the film uh, and I always reply to comments. So please feel free to comment and also let me know the films that uh, you would like me to watch. Yes, there are a few recommendations that I am working on. It will take some time, but please, uh, you know, let the recommendations come in. I mean, I will be screening them and I will be uh, making videos uh, on them every now and then. And yes, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. I think it helps a small creator like me. And also you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Letterbox. All of the details are in the comment section, uh, in the description box. So then until next time, thank you so much.